Hey kids, welcome to another math video for Eureka Math Grade 5. We're in Module 5 and this is Lesson 4 homework. Hopefully you already watched the problem set video and you know what you're doing and you finished this. It should already be completed so that now you're just checking. So uh, the objective at the bottom of the page is to use multiplication to calculate volume and so we are using a formula. Length times width times height is the formula that we're going to be using constantly to find volume. Uh, one thing we're going to talk about is the area of the base uses length times width, but for volume we're actually finding the area of the base and then we're multiplying that by the height. So that's why it works, makes so much sense. So for today, uh, we've got the each rectangular prism is built from centimeter cubes. These are single centimeters on each face. State the dimensions and find the volume. It's counting and multiplying. So um, I'm going to be pretty consistent with using this direction. I usually call this my L length. And this direction is my width W. And this direction is going to be my height. And I'm very, I try to be consistent. Now in a previous lesson we talked about how you can flip your um, rectangular prism. So that is also an option and you can call any of these dimensions anything you want, but uh, for consistency, just try to keep it the same. So if we have our length, one, two, three, four, five, width is two, height is one, two, three, four, then the volume, five times two is 10, 10 times four is 40. So you can pretty much blaze through these very quickly. If you didn't know what you were doing, then pause the video, complete these, and turn the video back on and check and see how you did. So again, three, times two, one, two, three, four, five. Here's my six times five, 30. Length, now notice that the angle that they're showing you of this figure is just slightly uh, tipped. If you don't like seeing the shadow or you find it difficult to count these, start up here where there is only one of the faces that you can see just like I did here. So one, two, three, four, that would be our length going across. Again, the width is going to be that going back into the page. This is our 3D look. That's our two. And the height still, again, find something where you can count where it's not going to confuse you. <clears throat> four times two is eight. Eight times four is 32. And then for this big guy, we've got a long length. So just come down and count if you didn't already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Width going backward is three, hopefully you saw all three, and height is three. And so right here, you can choose to multiply in any order. Now, if I had eight times three is 24, and 24 times three, I might not know that off the top of my head, but I certainly do know that three times three is nine, and I know my nines, nine times eight is 72. So make it easy for you to solve these. Um, for part Number two, write a multiplication sentence that you could use to calculate the volume for each rectangular prism in problem one. Include the units in your sentences. What we're talking about is just set it up with the formula that you have on the top of the page. And so you're taking the numbers from this that you actually already know and the answer. Five times two times four. And because these are linear units, linear on a line, and four, you can write in, it's not necessary in the future, they just want you to know, like, hey, what are we using? We're using always the centimeters. These are linear units, so we don't have any exponents, but on your answer, you do. And so this is really important that you label it and put an exponent. Uh, B is across, not below, so we've got three, Centimeters, you don't have to put that if you don't feel so inclined. I think I told my students, no, don't write it. Nobody ever does. Really, nobody ever does. They do label this, though, and that would be incorrect if you don't put the centimeters cubed. Next one, just copy what you have. Four times two times four, 32 centimeters cubed. Make sure you have your units cubed. Eight times three times three. 
equals 72 centimeters cubed. And so again, these are linear units. You don't square anything. You don't have any exponents. You're just showing, yes, I know what the unit of measure is, and I'm cubing it here. On the back, we have some um, rectangular prisms that don't have the individual cubic units showing which is actually better. It really is because all those little lines make kids get confused. So we're gonna calculate the volume of each rectangular prism and include the units in your number sentences. This is where they're really particular and I'm not. Um, so we're gonna do length times width times height. LWH, memorize that, you need to know it. Uh, again, keep it consistent. I'm gonna use the eight here, the four here, the eight here. And um, in any order that you like, this one doesn't really have anything uh, that would make it easier. Um, you can always split it into little factors. You can factor it out if you like to do that. I don't. I like to just use the standard algorithm. So bring it down. 16, 24, 25. 256. Now I'm going to write my... Um, my number sentence and my label, and then don't forget to cube it because this is three dimensions. So uh, the eight inches times four inches times eight inches equals 256 inches cubed. That's your answer, but they do want you to have the whole, all the numbers going across. If you just have eight times four times eight, equals 256 inches cubed. I am fine with that. But if you're a subscriber, your teacher might say, I want you to have the units. It says right here, include the units. So there you go. Uh, length with height. Again, look at all the different arrows in the placement. Yes, you can move it around, but try to be consistent. So I'm gonna use the 10 times, here's my width, three times, here's my height, seven. What I'd like to do here is to not take the 10 yet because that's so much easier to multiply with when you have a different number. If I have 21 times 10, I know it's gonna be 210. So length times width times height is gonna be 10 meters times three meters times seven meters. Look, they have a change in unit equals 210 meters cubed. There you go. All right. Mrs. Johnson is constructing a box in the shape of a rectangular prism. It's nice when it's like this because you can use your formula to store clothes for the summer. It has a length of 28, width of 24, and a height of 30. What is the volume? The volume is the length times the width times the height. Write your formula and then fill in your numbers. It's given and given and given. And so, no easy way about this. Got to do the standard al algorithm with double digits. So set it up and do it. 8 times 4 is 32. We've got 8, 9, 10, 11. Hold this spot. Done. Move it over. 2 times 8 16. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Hopefully you got 672. That is for only the 28 times 24. And you still have to multiply by 30. Don't forget that. Now, can you multiply by just three and then tack a zero on the end? You can on this one because it's only, it's all ones, okay? But I'm just gonna do this right here, which is essentially what I just said, but only in the standard algorithm. Zero times everything is zero, move over. Three times two is six, seven times three is 21, carry the two, 18, 19, 20. And so, in a very strange looking way, I've got my volume 20,160. What's your unit? Inches. What's your label? Cubed. Hopefully, you labeled it correctly and calculated correctly. Okay, last one. Isn't that quick? Calculate the volume of each rectangular prism using the information that is provided. The nice thing that they do when they give you the face or base area, if they've given you the area, area is length times width. So they already multiplied for you to get one of those numbers, okay? So they took this and this and multiplied it and got the answer. 
Now you just have to multiply 56 times 4, okay? Because the volume is the length times the width times the height. They're telling you that the length times the width is 56. You just need to multiply by the height. So set it up with the standard algorithm. 6 times 4 is 24. Then we have 20, 22. So 224 label exponent. Okay, hopefully you got 224 meters cubed. Face area, again, they gave you the length times the width, so it's 169 times 14, double digits this time. That's okay, you're ready for it. Oh, click subscribe, come back again. I do love to help you guys with these videos. Four times nine, 36. 24, 25, 26, 27. Four times one is four plus two, six. Uh, next row, you can hold it with a zero or just shift over, and then one times everything, so easy. Nine, six, one, line, add. Add nine, seven, 16, 12 and one is 13, and then 101 is two. And so your volume, 2,366, put your unit, put your exponent, and you are done. See, not so bad really not so bad. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to having you enjoy another one soon. See you on the next one. Bye for now.